Hi, Lisa Donner here on Liberty Nation, and joining me today is Dr. Rose Zacharias Meter. Dr. Meter is a physician uh, by profession, but she is also a podcaster by hobby, and she has a podcast called Intersection, and today we'll be speaking with her about the intersection between Canadians and Americans, politics and faith. Can you tell us a little bit about your podcast, Rose? My podcast is called Intersection, and uh, each episode features a conversation with someone, a guest, who's willing to sit down with me and talk about how their real life collides with faith. So every conversation involves some sort of genuine experience, no matter what faith perspective my guest comes from, we couch it within the context of faith. That's interesting. Now, a couple of weeks ago, you had me on and we discussed faith and politics. So I was hoping to do the same with you for our readers. And uh, we have sure. a thing called LNTV. And I thought it would be interesting just to get your perspective from uh, a physician point of view, a podcaster point of view, a woman of faith and a Canadian. Um, how are you and your friends viewing the politics going on here in the United States? Uh, the United States is a very dear neighbor to Canada, and a lot of what goes on in the U.S. does seem to influence us. Influence us. It certainly is, is often the content of our conversations. We tune into your news, and particularly we were really gravitated to all of what was going on last year with the presidential election. And so we did consume a lot of media with regards to Donald Trump running for president and as well as Hillary Clinton running for president. And there were a lot of conversations that were going on at the time amongst different faith groups, definitely amongst women and my, my female colleagues as well as my friends. And, uh, and within families, it just really did seem to bring out a lot of conversation and opinions and questions and wonderings. And we followed your election very closely. I remember being gathered around with my family and friends the night of the U.S. election. And, uh, and it was an education in itself, uh, learning about electoral votes and such. Uh, but we did follow it very closely that night. Were you and your friends as surprised as the Americans were at the uh, outcome of the election on November 8th? I would say that many of us were like-minded in our opinion and in our forecast of the election, and we were very surprised. As the evening continued on and it seemed as though uh, Donald Trump was indeed going to become uh, the President of the United States, uh, we had mixed emotions, um, but, but surprise was definitely one of them. Well, I don't think that differentiates it very much from Americans. I think it, just the same Americans were very surprised at the outcome. Uh, a lot of Americans were, but there were a lot of Americans that hadn't voted in a long time. And uh, that was to be expected because it was such an unusual situation. How do you feel that Canadians in general, and you in specific, look at, say, the Trump administration? It's very hard for us to, um, to, to tease out uh, who Donald Trump is represented as a man in the media um, from his administration. And so it, it does seem very much as though how he is captured and portrayed in media is very reflective of his chosen staff and those he would choose to govern around him. And so there were very, uh, there was a lot of disturbing content um, that came forward uh, with regards to his opinions of women, his opinions of immigrants, and, and how he really was portrayed uh, that um, was very disturbing and it, 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 was, it was just, it seemed such in contrast to who would eventually rise to the top to be 
the leader of your country. And and so we really grappled with that with that content of how he was being portrayed. I can't say that I know him, and so I know we are influenced, of course, really solely uh, by the media and, and how he's going to be portrayed there. But definitely how Donald Trump was portrayed in the media brought to us a grave concern if indeed he was going to be chosen by the American people as their president. Okay, fair enough. So I'm interested in whether Canadians sort of sensed any sort of a, uh, a revolution going on uh, in the United States. Did you feel like there was a political revolution happening? It seemed as though there was a, a facet of people who claimed there to be a revolution, that this was a turning of the tide, that this was... Um, a, a difference coming forward as far as leadership and how it was going to look. I, I mean, all of that being said, it, it wasn't necessarily um, being portrayed as, as a positive change, but it certainly seemed as though if indeed uh, Donald Trump was going to be elected as president, that this was going to be a very different type of president than had been elected before. So it's interesting, here we are uh, six months past the election, and I guess the world is sort of getting used to Donald Trump as President of the United States, and he's just finishing up, he's just wrapping up uh, a huge foreign tour. You know, he visited basically all the three major religions. He visited the heart of Islam in Saudi Arabia. He went to Jerusalem and even uh, stood at the, uh, the Great Western Wall in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Then he mm -hmm. followed that up with a visit to uh, Rome and an audience with the Pope. How is all of that playing? I'm interested how that is playing in Canada. I don't know. I, I, that really wasn't uh, necessarily highlighted in, in more recent uh, news that I've been privy to. I, I do know that uh, for the first time he was setting out and, uh, and making a visit uh, internationally. Um, but as far as his specific uh, and possibly intentional visits to the different faith groups, um, hasn't been highlighted in our media that I am aware of. Interesting. Um, before we wind up our conversation, tell us a little bit about your podcast and about um, what you like to talk about with people and why you do it. When I ask you to be a guest on my show, I saw it as an opportunity for for two people who were not necessarily in agreement with regards to our perceptions of the American election, of course, you being American and myself being Canadian, but as we were pointing out, we were a country that was very much involved. Um, and, and with my show and our conversation particularly, I wanted to sit down with someone who who thought differently than me, but was willing to engage in a conversation with me in order to better understand you and and how you came to think the way that you did. I saw us as having many things in common. We're both women. We're both educated. Uh, we both actually have a, a public persona, and we are both Christian, and and yet. If I had been your American next door neighbor, I think we would, would have voted differently. Now, I can't claim to know all the ins and outs, and I certainly don't have a history of, uh, as, of uh, Republican versus Democrat. I don't. Uh, but I wanted to, to sit down with, with you and to hear you speak about your point of view. And I wanted so much to couch that conversation in a respectful context. And I actually do think that we did a good job of it that day. 
Well, I couldn't agree with you more, and that's why I wanted to return the favor, because I thought that Americans would be interested in the Canadian perspective. So please join Rose on her podcast, Intersection, and uh, it's available, I'm sure, at iTunes and other fine podcast providers. And thank you so much, sure. Rose, for joining us here on Liberty Nation TV. That, that intersection with Rose Zacharias Nieder, either on iTunes or directly to my website, I'd be really glad to have any of your listeners join mine. Thank you, Lisa, so much for this opportunity for us to connect again.